Yeah, my favorite Kentucky ballistics time. It's been like ages since we saw and reacted to a gun video. It's been a minute. Uh -uh. Once again, people at YouTube, hello! If you're watching this on YouTube, you know, feel free to get into my, my stream. I streamed on... I stream... Oh god, I've not streamed in 8 weeks. I stream on Twitch from Mondays to Thursdays, EDP, 10pm. Ah, that's right, that's right. I totally... I got this. Mm -mm. Join me as we react to this closing video. Could you defeat a vampire? The first answer is no, but they can defeat me. If you know what I mean. <coughs> Especially, you know, since we all know that vampires are kinda hot. Man, they can beat me anytime. <coughs> I can't believe that some jump scare just got me like, what the fuck? I've not been jump scared in a long time, so um, my resistance has decreased quite significantly. Hiya! Nice try, buddy! <laughs> but I'm not That'll scared be like, of Yay! anything! <laughs> oh. What is this, Dead by Daylight? You know, I really expected better from you. If I was a Texan, maybe this would be scary. If I was the tax then that would be scary. <laughs> oh God. What's up, everybody? My name is Scott, and you're watching Kentucky Ballistics. And today we have a very special Halloween episode. One of the most notorious creatures of Halloween is the vampire. Oh, that was the gun that blew up on him. Oh my God, you're right. Not only that it's actually scary, it is PTSD. Oh, shit. And today I am going to show you how to defeat a vampire. These things are an absolute menace. They come out every year, and I feel like you need to be better prepared. This yes, guy we do. Here is looking pretty ferocious. If you look right here, you can see he has some very big, sharp fangs. He's dressed for the. Wow, they actually modded him to have sharp fangs in this one. He looks thirsty. You may think that you can just take out one of these vampires with your Glock. I'm sorry, let me just turn off the subtitles and I'll pause here. He looks dusty. But so am I. Thank you. 19 or Grandpappy's shotgun, but that's not the case. It takes a very specific set of weaponry to take out one of these vampires. You know what's even more terrifying than vampires? Spammers, robocallers, and telemarketers. But you know who yeah! can help you with that? Today's sponsor, Aura. Anyone can find oh, anything <laughs> on the internet, including your personal information. I oh, mean, no. this guy could find it. Aura will identify data brokers exposing your information and automatically submit opt-out requests on your behalf. They'll even yeah, let you I keep out of getting so much spam lately. Disgusting. If you use my link, aura.com forward slash Kentucky, you can start a free two-week trial and see how many data brokers are exposing your information on the web. You can also find this link. Oh in the man, I, I actually Walker. don't want to try it because does... it'll be in the three digits based on all the websites I go to. Yep. You and your family from online threats you can't see. It's really easy to set up so you don't have to download several different apps to get things like parental controls, antivirus, VPN, password management, identity theft insurance, and more. You get everything at one affordable price. Oh. Let Aura do the hard work of keeping you safe online so you can focus on other tasks with peace of mind. Stop letting people exploit and profit off of your private information. Swing uh. over to Aura.com forward slash Kentucky and start your free two-week trial today. You can also find this link in the description Actually, down below. Useful. Or you I might can scan mm. my QR code. Again, a big nah, thank you to I'm Aura good. for sponsoring today's video. Now let's go slay this vampire. You may notice be it's Buffy. a little bit darker today than we normally film, and that's on purpose. Vampires huh? are actually very sensitive to sunlight. So, I didn't want this guy to just get fried before we filmed, so we came out here a little bit later today. When it comes to wow. battling a vampire, you may want to weaken... Gotta respect the lore. He's abiding to it. ...in his defenses first. One thing they definitely do not like 
is holy Silver water. Bullets. So here oh. I have an electric oh. squirt gun filled with <laughs> normal water. But hypothetically, gun, you could yes. fill it with holy water. Make Let's see wet. how effective our electric squirt gun would be. Blah 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 blah. Actually, slow mo for this. <laughs> oh, that's pretty good. Uh, 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 pick up, pick up. He would pick not up, like you, that. Huh. Ah. Did it work? <laughs> Look, he's melting. You can see he's melting. No, no, no. That's not no, the water. No, so it so seems funny. like an electric <laughs> squirt gun full of holy water would be a very good deterrent for a vampire. But let's say you don't have any holy water and don't you don't know. have a squirt gun. Well, maybe you can get a hold of some garlic powder 410 Ooh. shotgun rounds. And that's what I have right here. Vampires absolutely hate garlic. It being in powdered form would be wow, highly really effective. Wow, you can make anything into a shotgun shell. his show. nose and his eyes and you can at least get away. All right, let's see how he likes this. Oh! 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 Garlic delivered at 900 miles per hour. <laughs> yes, that looks Aha, his skin good. has been As damaged. As you can see here, the garlic powder is all in his eyeballs, up his nose, just like uh, I wanted to be. That so bitch. this may not actually kill the vampire, but I can at least get away from him. And I want to mm. get far away because he's going to be really mad. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, God. This... Ah! Ah! Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> that was a close one. Totally just saved your life. If you want to repay Thank me, you. you can do so by hitting that subscribe button. Okay, okay, I'm ready to subscribe to you, so I'll like it instead. Thank you for saving my life. <laughs> so up to this point, I have shown you some really good deterrents for vampires. But there's only one real way to take out a vampire, and that's a wooden stake. Today I have several different sizes of wooden stakes. We're going to start with the smallest and work our way up to the biggest. The first wooden stakes I have are some 10 gauge wooden stake slugs. Let's see how good or bad these would be. You can put a wooden stake into a shotgun shell? All right, I mean, you can do anything with a shotgun shell. I keep forgetting, hiya. At taking out a vampire. All right, here we go. Oh boy. Oh, oh. oh. Do you see those jellies exploding? Oh. Wait, it wasn't a jelly? Oh, oh it was the jelly! Oh. Alright! Stick those to the like red! Quite a bit of damage to the vampire, but I don't know if that would have been enough. Let's go check it out. Ah! My earplug! Ha! Ah, you guys don't think I wear ear protection. I do. It's just so deep in there. I just can't see it. Okay, we can right here and right here. We broke oh, up his ribs pretty good. Oh, crack the lip. Oh but my goodness, shit. I don't know if that would have been enough. It wasn't shed. I mean, oh, it wasn't cracked. vampires can it heal pretty quick. It shattered the rib. Oh my goodness. And this was not really a vital area of the vampire. And even if it was, I don't know if that would have been enough. But that's okay, because I brought bigger stakes. <laughs> the 10 gauge wooden stake shotgun slugs did quite a number to that vampire. But, but we enough. definitely need something bigger. So up next, I have my double barrel 8 gauge Doom Slayer shotgun. And oh. I have some 8 gauge wooden Whoa. stake slugs. Whoa, oh, holy no. shit. That Whoa, 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 that looks like the size that we could play. I'm not going to finish my sentence. Let's see how this goes. Let's hear one, two, three. Oh! <gasps> we blew his oh! whole freaking Oh my off. god! Shot dead center on that one. Wow, that was so clean. One in the neck, 
one in the solar plexus. Wow. Holy crap, that was pretty good aiming. You know what's bad? When you blow his cape off. Yeah. Oh, golly. Okay. It, I'm not really sure what it did, but if you come oh. from this angle right here, it's all up in his neck. That oh, is so it's bad. It's lost in his Look neck. Oh. Splinters and stuff. Almost made it all the way through him. Look at that. Holy cow. Oh. Sticking what out of his back. Oh. Oh. Okay, well. Well, it fucking sticked uh, him, all right? Oh, gosh, he's missing all of his rib cage. Oh. He had a vampire problem. And you called the Doom Slayer. I'm pretty <laughs> sure he would be able to take out your vampire yeah. with his eight gauge stake slug. Oh. That was Super pretty shotgun. Brutal. Oh my gosh! Eh. He's called for backup! Eight gauge oh. <laughs> stake <laughs> slug. 100% I think would take out a vampire. But what if you encounter a real beefy vampire who really eats a lot of food and goes to the gym? Maybe oh, you no. need a bigger steak. What? <laughs> what is this? That's not a steak anymore. That's a that's a the sword. sword. Yeah. <clears throat> you yeah. may need something really big to make it to that vampire's heart. And that's I a think harpoon, right? This would do it. This is my harpoon gun. There you with go. a custom vampire steak harpoon. I am very excited to see if this works. Don't think the vampire is though. I mean, look at his face. He looks so angry. He's just scowling at me. Okay, we're gonna go right for the heart. Are you sure he's gonna go. even lunge? Oh! Actually pierced. I didn't expect it to pierce. I did hit him with a heart. Oh, but, oh my gosh! I'm gonna have to do it again, obviously. But good lord! Oh gosh! Look at this! It blew all the way through his shoulder. Oh! Oh my! If I was used on a person, oh. that, that would have wrecked sure his shoulder wait. entirely. Yep. Think that'll do it. I'm just gonna need to aim. A little lower. We need to hit him more in this area. All right, oh. let's try round two. Here we go. Oh! Oh! Whoa! It's like a saw going that. through his body. It zigzags its way in. To where his heart would be. And by golly, that's in there pretty good. Oh. Well, it didn't go as deep. I think that's because we hit some of his vampire bones. I was aiming down here and we're hitting here. I need to hit here. I think this will probably do it. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> wow, point blank. I think that would do it. Oh, he didn't shoot it up. So now we know oh. that a big giant wooden stake. Oh. The tip is gone. When you use it too many times and you don't maintain it, it will get damaged. Or an eight gauge stake slug will definitely wink, make it wink. to the heart of a vampire. But now I'm curious. I mean, what would happen if you aimed a little higher? Alrighty then, I have a fresh wooden Harpoon steak. Let's see exactly, what happens. Exactly, chat. Really Always clean your tool before you trust it in. Thanks. Oh, oh, oh. Oh! <gasps> oh. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, that. All right. Well, he's finally bleeding. It's like a purple blood. Um, I think oh. we had a steak oh. malfunction. And that's okay for a day like today, because this is just practice. But if we were actually battling a vampire, that could have really cost us. Yes. That is why you always bring a backup steak when going on a vampire hunt. Hey, just because I have white hair, right, and yellow eyes, I'm, I'm not a vampire, okay? I do sleep at night. Thank you. You could say the steaks were high. <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, God. Shit! This looks like 
Why you Frankenstein now? Oh my god. New Halloween cosplay. Shut up and take my money. Dragula is uh, not feeling too well right now. <laughs> <laughs> not feeling too well? I don't well? care what you say. You gotta send a stake through the heart region. I don't know. I mean, I'm pretty sure that would have done it. <laughs> Let me take a selfie. <laughs> oh yeah, that is definitely a keeper. R.I.P. Mr. Vampire. Now that's a and lot of damage you need. The Chipomatic 5000. I miss it so much, and I wish it was here today, but it's not. If you miss the Chipomatic 5000 just as much as I do, you need to what check the out these limited 5, edition. R.I.P. Chipomatic 5000 shirts. The profits from these shirts are going to go to investing in a bigger, better Chipomatic. They're only available for what a limited a time, so if you want to check them out, there's a link missing? in the description down below. Okay, I have two 8-gauge steak slugs left. Let's see what would happen if we gave Mr. Vampire both barrels. One hammer pull, two hammers pull. Here we He's go. going all out. Oh, oh! <gasps> what? Golly! Yeah! Oh, golly. I think he shot at him. That looked like that messed him up pretty good. Oh. Wow, it's smoking from within. Oh. Uh, we got anything coming out the back? Uh, we do not. We have tested out all of our vampire weaponry, and it turns out the majority of it is pretty effective. Mm. But what if you don't have access to vampire weaponry, and all you got is a 12-gauge shotgun loaded with some birdshot? Probably not going to be super effective at taking out the vampire, but let's see what kind of damage you can down, do. down, right? Well, are you sure that's not effective? give the vampire the benefit of the doubt here. Uh, he has already been pretty wounded uh, uh, with all yeah, of my vampire true, weapons. True. Uh, but it does appear. Oh gosh. <laughs> I like how he just said just like yeah but I can't. Uh, but it does appear. Oh gosh. <laughs> oh god. The timing though. Okay. Holy shit. Starting to get Pretty dark. I've actually never been out here this late, and I'm kind of afraid that if I wait much longer, uh, more of these guys are going to show up. So I'm going to need to yeah, get out of here. Yeah, I should run. so dark, video. If you enjoyed the video, let me know what you thought about it in the comment section down below. If you did enjoy it, be sure and give it a like, and make sure you hit that subscribe button. Oh also, be sure to check time. out Kentucky Ballistics Breakdowns, Kentucky Customs. I promise I'm going to post a new video soon, and Kentucky Ballistic Shorts. Links to those can be found in the description down below, along with links to Patreon, Facebook, Instagram, X, and I didn't expect a headshot with Budshot that actually killed a vampire. Shot. It's a Budshot. Hey, so it's like you. And as always, my name is Scott. Make sure you stay away from vampires, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Oh,